Kiora, Talofa, Malele, Bula, and welcome to season 8, episode 69 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a sunny and bright Thursday morning, 14th March 2024. Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby Union, now that uh, Ben Gollings is gone and the Fijian draw have started winning again, the heat is off Fiji Rugby Union. Interim chairman and the most powerful man in sports in Fiji, Peter Maisie, has to now negotiate between two old hard-head props, World Rugby Chairman Sir Bill Beaumont and Fijian Prime Minister Siti Beni Rambuka for who will be the new Flying Fijians head coach. In football, mate, it's not a Willy Wonka golden ticket. Tottenham's Aussie manager, Anje Postecoglou, in his trademark humorous fashion, confusing UK journalists about what qualifying for the UEFA Champions League means to Spurs. While the top three teams, Arsenal, Liverpool and Manchester City, are 11 or 10 points in front of uh, fifth place Tottenham, their major aim for the remainder of the season is not to finish fourth, and qualify for the Champions League. What's more important is that come the end of the, this year, we've got a team that's going to challenge the following year and keep growing. We're not in it for participation. We're in it to win things, Postecoglou said. In sports biz, the 2026 Commonwealth Games could be staged in Malaysia after the country's Olympic Council said there was a £100 million offer to assist with hosting. The cash has come from the compensation paid by the Australian state of Victoria, which withdrew last year, citing cost overruns, leaving the multi-sport event without an official host. In Rugby League, the Rabbitohs are potentially looking at being in a 0-for-2 hole to start the season with a game against the Broncos. Uh, on Thursday, looming today, and the task is set to be made a little harder with news today of a shoulder injury to star forward Jai Arrow. Arrow is set to spend at least three to four weeks on the sideline, which is a big blow to a side already missing strike center, Campbell Graham. In the NBA, Prime is the official sports drink of the Los Angeles Lakers, as announced on Tuesday uh, via social media. While the Los Angeles Lakers are the first basketball team that uh, Logan Paul and KSI have uh, attached themselves to, they certainly are not the first big-name sports franchise. Top European football clubs Bayern Munich, Arsenal, FC Barcelona and Borussia Dortmund have all struck deals with Prime, which surpassed sales of US $1.2 billion in 2022. Finally, only in the USA, New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers is on the short list of vice presidential candidates for independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. The news was met with a variety of reactions online, including from former Jet Damian Woody, Man, we are an unserious country. NFL Network's free agent frenzy crew of Andrew Siciliano and uh, Tom Pesolero reacted with the good news. The election is on a Tuesday. That's normally players' day off, uh, Pelissero choked. So he'd be available to watch the results roll in. Cicilano chimed in, as long as he's not the Surgeon General. And that's a wrap. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all to us. For TaveOverRugby.com, I'm Calden Kamea.